Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe below. So today's video will be about my new Boston Terrier puppy that I've had for about three and a half weeks now. Um, some fun facts about him, his name, what he likes to do. I'll take him on a walk and I'll also like show like some training tricks that I've been doing with um, PetSmart. So let's jump right into the video. So this right here is my Boston Terrier puppy. His name is Prince. He saw that I was making a video and he wanted to chime in. <laughs> he is 10 weeks old and four days. Next week, he'll be 11 weeks old. I got him at eight and a half weeks and he's just been a pleasure. He's growing each and every week. He was a little bit smaller than this when I first got him and it's just amazing like to see him grow, to see him like understand like commands and different things of that nature. Um, and this is just like the best breed, like after doing research to see like what type of puppy I wanted. And his temperament is something that I definitely can handle. Like I'm spontaneous, I'm adventurous. I love being outdoors. And he recently just started going outside. And for him, it's like a whole new world. Like he absolutely loves it. So um, somewhere in this video, I'll be taking him on a walk. I ended up purchasing, purchasing him a leash and he has a harness. He has collars as well. And I'll also show like some of the things that I purchased before I picked him up and I'll show what I've gotten from PetSmart and Petco and like what I would recommend for a small puppy. Some of the things that I've purchased him so far um, before I picked him up on the first day and I just went and purchased like buckets to keep everything in. So the first thing I purchased this actually on Sheen.com. Um, it's a little collar. He still can fit it, but he's growing like each and every week. So I try not to um, use this as much, but I do have this and it's so cute because it has um, the crown on here. I kind of like it because it goes with his name. His name is Prince and he's my little Prince and I love him so much. So this is the collar that I brought from Sheen.com. This is one of the retractable collars right here. Um, people say this isn't as good to use when you're um, first getting a puppy or just along the way when you have your puppy because um, it can kind of pull and get off track. I like it. I like the color of it. I'm still going to use it. Um, as he gets bigger and he kind of like resists the leash a little bit, then I'll use the actual one that um, I have. I'll show you that one in just a second. So this is the one and you can um, set it to the length you want by using this button here. So like, for example, if I use it here, it'll lock in place like that. And then when I just want more length, I just pull it back and it just kind of can just freely go. But yeah, so I got this from Sheen.com and you just type in puppy supplies or dog supplies and you'll see like a list of stuff. I shop on Sheen for like clothes, but one day I was looking online, I just put in a search for like puppy supplies and Sheen popped up and I like lost my mind. I think I'm pronouncing it right, Sheen, S-H-E-I-N. Um, and so I just happened to type in puppy supplies, dog supplies, and saw like a list of stuff. Like it was so much stuff. Crates, collars, um, portable water dispensers for them, um, a container where you can keep their food. I'll show you that in just a second. So this is the second thing I got from Sheen. Okay. next thing I got from Sheen which will definitely come in handy it's for like when you pick up like their poop so it came in a set this came with this this is a container where you can keep their food like when you're on the go and you you're obviously not at home or somewhere stationary to like give them their water and food so this is what I keep on hand 
This was a set that went together. It even comes with the bags. Like it doesn't get any better than that. It automatically comes with the bags. I've used it a few times, but I don't like to use it around the house. I use it for like if I'm going to the store or something. So I just keep that. And you can also buy the individual bags in stores. Like if you go to PetSmart or Petco, they'll have it. Um, and then this is also like the water um, dispenser thing which is great, he loves it, especially like when the car rides are kind of hot and it's taking a while for the AC to kick in. I can just roll down the windows and I can just give him his water or if we're at the dog park or wherever we are. And so basically how this works is, the bottom part is where you fill up the water. And then this part obviously is where he would drink the water. And what I like about this is, I don't have to worry about like a messy spill in my bag or whatever I put this in because it has, um, a, a button right here that says on so when you when you turn this center part to on this is where the water will just stream through and to stop it you twist it back to the left so it'll lock in the amount of water that you want which I love and then how I drain it like let's just say he drinks just a little bit and I had poured out a lot of water I just turn it back to the right to where it says on and then all the water will drain back in here. And then I just twist it back to the left and I can flip it, turn it, it's locked in. It's, it's perfect for on the go, I love it. All right, so those are the things I got from, from Sheen. This, I wanna say is about, I wanna say this was maybe $4 on Sheen. These three came in a set. This was like $6 for a whole set. You can get different colors, you can get different sizes. Not all of them on Shein has the um, poop thing, the poop bags, but I saw this and just thought it was cute. And I could have got blue, but I decided to go with white. All right, as you can see, he's literally chewing on everything. He's teething, like he chews on everything right now. Come, 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 come. All right, so the next thing I purchased, I actually got this, where did I get this from? I actually got this from the dollar store. I saw it and like I said, he's small now, um, but this is actually a medium sized collar. So I kept that in mind, like when I buy certain stuff, I try to move up a size. Um, he won't get that big. From what I've researched, Boston Terriers only get to about between 16 to 17 inches like in height and he won't get like super, super big. Um, so some of the stuff I can keep, I won't have to like sell or throw it away or whatever. But um, I actually got this from the dollar store. Um, as you can see, it snaps in place like that. And this is obviously where the collar would go. And he doesn't like this one too much. Um, I have a hard time like putting the collar on him sometimes. So I have to give him like a doggy treat to get it on. He just likes to just be free and not have the collar or leash thing going on, but he's getting used to it. Like when I open the door and it's time to go outside, like that helps him. He's like, ah, oh, I'm in like my own element now. So that kind of helps. So I got this from the dollar store. Right, so the next thing I got him, and this is also all from the dollar store. And what I love is I ended up finding a matching color for the leash and the harness. So this is the harness I was telling you about, which actually is better. So when I mentioned earlier about recommendations for things for puppies, small puppies, medium, large, this is one of the things I highly recommend, a harness. Um, because the collar sometimes, I was well, I was informed by my PetSmart trainer that the only thing with collars is it can cause neck problems over time, especially when you're pulling them and they're on the leash. So the harness is better. And I'll show how I put this on him later when we when I take you all out with us to go for a walk. So they basically step into it. His paw goes, his front paw and other side paw goes inside here. And then it snaps here. His neck is kind of free. The harness is kind of around like 
his shoulder blade area and then the two pieces here obviously clips on to the leash like that and so i was lucky enough to find like the color leash and harness that matches and this obviously is the hand part for it okay so next thing i got him when he finally arrives is shampoo from Petco. This is what I first started with. They actually had like a 50% off sale going on. So this ended up being $11.25. So I got this. It's oatmeal baking soda shampoo and it smells so good. The first day he came home, I tried to give him a bath with this and he did not like it. First of all, he was very, very scared. He was looking around like I'm in this new environment. So that plus trying to give him an actual bath, he didn't like it. So I ended up going back to Petco and I found this, which is perfect. This is actually waterless shampoo. You just spray it on them. You can rub it in and it's, you're done after that. You don't necessarily have to rinse. I still rinse. Um, I gave him a bath last night and he actually let me give him a complete bath. So that was good. I use this. It smells really good. Um, it's berry and coconut. Um, it's foam. Rub it in, so a little bit of water added to it, obviously, and that's it. You rub it in and it stays on. You don't have to worry about doing like a rinse, pouring a lot of water. It gets straight to the point and it smells so good. Um, and I believe this was $12, I think, $12 or $14. Um, I'm almost gone. It's, it's almost gone, so I'm going to go back and get this. But this is the Tropical Clean Waterless Dog Shampoo. And this is called the no rinse formula. So this is perfect. I would definitely start with this if you see there's issues with giving him, him or her a bath with regular shampoo. This I actually got, this is the stain and odor eliminator, completely removes pet urine. I've been using this um, pretty much out, but I actually got this from the PetSmart puppy training. It came in a bag with some PetSmart treats and stuff sponsored by PetSmart. So I was lucky to get this and it eliminates immediately. Um, so I've been using this and it has like a, a good smell, a good smell to it. Um, urine free and I would recommend this. I don't know how much this is actually in PetSmart. It just came in the puppy training bag. Um, so I have to check that out later. All right, so moving on, the next things that I got, um, I got him some bubbles. I haven't used it yet. I try to give him a few toys at a time um, just to keep him entertained. He likes to play. So um, I got bubbles. I'll be using this soon outside and indoors. This was cute. Um, this is a luggage tag. This was like a dollar and 23 cent from Walmart actually. So whenever he goes to like doggy daycare overnight or stays anywhere, he'll have that. And then of course, um, name, address, telephone number, email, um, just a tag for him. And so this is one of his new toys. He loves anything that makes sound. Um, this was a dollar sixty-eight, dollar ninety-eight at Walmart. Okay, I got this. I try to get him things that have sound. I have a ball. This is good for him. He's teething, like I said. He's chewing on everything. Um, so I like to play ball with him and allow him to chew on it. This is also what I've purchased from Petco. It's Relieving Itch and Hot Spot Spray. Um, puppies, dogs tend to scratch a lot. So I've sprayed this. This is actually Burt's Bees. It was $6.98 from the 50% off bin at Petco. And I've only used it a few times. These are disposable diapers. I got this from Walmart. It was like $5.90 or something like that. I've only used it once. He hates these. And being that I'm starting to get him off of using the pee pads inside the house, I've been taking him outside. I've only been able to use this one time. And that was the very first day that I picked him up. And I didn't want him to make a mess in my back, back seat of my car. And I didn't have pee pads. So I used this. And I've only been able to successfully use it once. And I won't use these anymore. Um, puppy food, this is what the breeder used. I took him to the vet like literally 24 hours after I got him and they said that if he loves it, keep him on it. I ended up purchasing him in advance some chicken flavor one. It was a different brand. Leave him on puppy chow. He loves it. 
All right, so next I'm gonna show you um, the last few things that I've gotten him and I'll take you all outside with me to walk him. So this is a gate that I recently purchased from Walmart. It was about $24, $25. Um, I normally keep it here and it, I pretty much train him where during playtime, during certain hours, I'll have him back here in this area. The gate will separate from the main living room area. And this has been working great. I purchased this crate. Um, I got this from, from Walmart as well. It was about $34, $35 plus tax. I got his doggy bed from Petco. That was about $11.99. And I believe they still have that there. And this is a little blanket. And I also got this from Petco. I thought this was so cute. It says master of the house. And because his name is Prince, I liked the whole crown thing. So just his little theme. Say hi, Prince. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> being spoiled right now. Say hi, Prince. Say hi. Say hi. He's ready to get down. <laughs> Actually got the harness on. I didn't film that part because it was a struggle trying to get him in his collar. Um, so I pretty much hooked it on. I'll show you in just a second. I had to give him a doggy treat. All right. Watch me. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. All right, so now we are headed outside. Okay, come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on, babe. Let's go. Good boy, good boy. This way. Good boy. Come on. And as you can see, there's his harness. Everything's connected together to the leash. And out we go. He's like obsessed with all the leaves. <laughs> Good boy. Come on, let's go. Good job, good boy. This way. So I'm gonna stop the video here. This concludes my video. Thank you so much for joining me in my new Boston Terrier puppy prints today. I hope I was able to give some great tips, what to buy, um, fun facts, show you how he um, likes to chew and different things that you can get him recommendations and some items you want to purchase before you get your new puppy um, if you like this video like comment and share and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye say bye Prince say bye say bye everyone